everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Sundays at Tiffany's. Uh, my name is Tiffany from Beauty and the Beasons. If you're new here and every single Sunday, I put up a motivating video for the week ahead, whether it's cleaning, organizing, cooking, planning, self-care, anything to kind of just like motivate you and get rid of those Sunday scaries. So today's video is one of my favorite videos to make and it is a get it all done video because not only do I get to record something for you to hopefully motivate you, but I'm also getting things done that I need to get done anyway. So it works out perfectly. Um, we are jumping right into it around, it's around noon right now. Uh, the kids are eating lunch and I am gonna throw some stuff in the crock pot. I'm gonna try to make like some type of sweet and a little bit of spicy uh, chicken thighs in the crock pot to put over some cauliflower fried rice that I will be making from scratch as well. So we're gonna start with that crock pot meal right now. Okay, so I'm kind of making this up as I go with what I have on hand. So I have chicken thighs in here. I'm doing a half a cup of soy sauce. Um, Le Choy soy sauce is always gluten-free. We'll just make sure it says gluten-free as always on it, but. Um, and then I ran out of that halfway through, so I did the rest uh, liquid aminos. So anyway, we're doing a half cup of that. Pour that in. And next I'm gonna do one fourth cup of apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna do one fourth cup of honey. A little less than one fourth cup, because that's a lot. I'm also going to do one fourth cup of ketchup. Um, when I make up my own recipes, I like to keep it simple. So even that being like the same measurements to keep it simple to remember, it, I like that. And then of course some um, salt and pepper. A little bit of onion powder. Some garlic powder. Mmm, sound good to you, girly. Lid on, and then high for four hours, and then pray that it tastes good. So I just got back from Target. I had to run and get um, wrapping paper for a baby shower. Yeah. It's got some staples and stuff. But who else is kids just like rummage through your groceries? Oh, hi. <laughs> the second you get them. Hi. What's on my bus today? What is that? A laughing cow, buzz, pretzel sticks, and cheese. You're cracking me up. You saying cheese? <laughs> Let's see what we what. You've never had these before. I thought it would be something new to try. Mm. What do you think? Kids are outside on the trampoline with Chris while I get dinner together. I'm going to attempt to have the kids eat the same thing as us, but let's be real, it's probably not going to happen. So I'm going to make them some butter noodles. I'm using Wacky Mac. They love it and it's full of vegetables, so that's a win there. All right, so this is done. Let's just go ahead and shred that and I'll let it sit while I cook our cauliflower rice. It looks really yummy. It should just fall right apart like that, especially with chicken thighs. I think it's a good idea to kind of shred it up and let it soak in the juices. This gives it all some more flavor. I don't want to shred it too, too much because it's not like I'm having sandwiches with it. I just want to shred it a little bit and get into nice chunks here. It smells amazing. Hopefully it tastes that good as well. I'm going to go ahead and cover that back up. And then now we're just gonna get started on our stuff for our cauliflower fried rice. I'm gonna do some carrots. This is what I have on hand, but you can always just buy like a bag of shredded carrots. Also gonna do some peas in there. And of course need an onion for some flavor.
water is boiling over here very, very rapidly. Let me go ahead and turn that down. And then this is the wacky mac I was telling you about. It has eight grams of protein per serving, so that's pretty good. Now that this only has about four minutes left, I'm gonna throw some green beans in there. Now we're gonna start on our cauliflower fried rice. Do a little bit of olive oil. You can do vegetable oil if you like. A lot of people like those oil options more with fried rice. I'm gonna add in my onion and my carrot, salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic powder. And this is done. Some butter, that's done. This is looking and smelling really good. To add a little bit more oil, and then I'm gonna put my cauliflower in. Just covering it for a second, just for a little bit, because the cauliflower only takes four minutes to cook. That is looking good. I'm gonna add some of these liquid aminos since I couldn't find any gluten-free soy sauce at Target. Now we're just adding some peas. While that's cooking, I'm just going to finish up plating the kids' food. I should probably close the fridge, so probably be a good idea. Hi, Mommy. Hi, sweetheart. What are we making? Chocolate chip nana muffins. Chocolate chip nana muffins, sounds yeah. good? Yeah, like five chip nana muffins. Yeah. And Tanner just got his finger in the powder and tasted it. What did it taste like, Tanner? Peanut butter. It tastes like peanut butter? Mm -hmm. It's baking soda and baking powder and he just had to try it. <laughs> Someone's eating our ingredients. Hey, can you put that in here? Hey. <laughs> Mommy. Wait, where's the rest of my? This is baking with the beastin. I ain't <laughs> Okay, yeah. Good job. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's go wash your hands, baby. You did a really good job. It's just you don't eat raw eggies. It's really not good for you. Let's go wash our hands, okay? <laughs> You did a good job cracking that egg though. A competition. Oh, competition. Oh, like that we watch on Chopped? Tanner is our little tape tester here. Oh, yeah. he, he was, he, when it was ready for egg, he just got an egg and cracked it by himself. <laughs> and I went to go lick his hands, but I caught him in time. The 
his are all bathed. They just nursed Ella to sleep. Okay, full. The muffins are ready? Yeah. Okay, full. They smell good, huh? Oh. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Thank you, Mom. Okay, I'm to cry. p.m. The kids are sleeping. We let them stay up a little bit later tonight because they don't have school tomorrow. So we had some snuggle time. I watched Finding Dory for a little bit. We're going to watch the rest in the morning. Anyway, um, they were playing with winter hats today and it made me realize that I really need to go through this front closet. So the front closet as well as my dining room are like the two areas that like really need to be done. So I'm going to do those before I do like my whole kitchen cleanup, which is kind of scary looking. It's also like a really good time of year to do that because it's starting to get colder and colder here and I need to see what sizes I have and what they still fit into and everything like that and see what I'm going to be needing for this winter. So let's go do that first. the jacket portion done however this is your reminder my boys have north faces and it's already getting cold in the morning so they still fit into these sizes but I'm just gonna go ahead and wash them since they've been sitting in the closet all summer that's your reminder didn't take that long but one of the things that makes me feel really good is that it's not that cold out yet here and now we have tons of jackets to donate for those in need so besides the fact of getting something done and organizing if we need it to we are also able to give to those in need so if that's not motivation I don't know what it is. On to the dining room this is just like a catch-all because we don't come in here as often to eat we just throw everything on this table so it's time to seriously declutter and also we usually host like all of our neighbors here before we go out for Halloween but 
so I've been like saving a ton of like Halloween decor up here for that and not remembering that we're not even going to be living here during Halloween because that's when our house renovations are so we won't be hosting we'll still like um you know go out in this neighborhood with our friends but we will not be in this house so I can put some of that stuff away and knowing that I'll have it in the basement that for if the kids or when the kids have their school party whatever I need to bring in I can bring it on in on like a cute Halloween tray that I know is in the basement been like slowly getting things for Tanner's birthday party in January I know but I'm trying to be ahead of the game he's doing a baby shark theme so that has been collecting on this table as well so I'm gonna make him like a little birthday bin and just add to that up until his birthday <laughs> so random but I promised Carter we could buy these at the dollar store the other day and one is Carter one is Tanner and one is Ella and one is either Chris or I because we couldn't find another one so let's go hang these up I got that stuff to wrap the um, baby's present for the baby shower that I'm going to on Sunday. So I'm just going to wrap this and then put this stuff in a bag. Alright, it's 9.15. Let's go do all of these dishes. Hopefully it won't take us, so we'll head upstairs.
Jen down here, I was able to write on my whiteboard, which always makes me feel better because I kind of just like look at all my different calendars, all the kids' school calendars, emails that I have from my manager and things like that, so I could just like organize everything in one spot and it just like helps make me feel better. So anyway, we're going upstairs. I'm going to show you my sunless tanning routine. I have an event tomorrow that um, I'm one of the panelists for and I just want to have a little bronze going to me. And I'm ready for a shower. So I showered and I was all ready to do my sunless tanner, which I'll show you in a second. And I realized, thankfully after reading the directions, that this is an express tan and you leave it on for one hour if you want a light tan two hours for a medium tan and three hours for a dark tan and I was planning on just putting it on and going to bed and luckily I read the directions because I would have been like super dark in the morning but this is it it's the same brand that I used to use just a different like express formula I guess so I'm gonna have to do that in the morning but anyway I hope that you all enjoyed this video um it kind of turned into a lot of cleaning but that's just what I needed to get done today if you want to see a full-blown ultimate clean with me, just wait until next Sunday on Sundays at Tiffany's and I'm going to have an amazing cleaning video for you. So hope that you all enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up.